Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another review. Uh, today we have the 1 6 scale Planet Hulk from Bowen Designs. Uh, we're going old school again. And uh, before we proceed, um, let's somewhat go back to the beginning and see the reverse um, assembling. Because uh, I actually have this one on display, so we won't be um, doing an uh, unboxing for this. Okay, so stay tuned. Alright, so we have the uh, color box. Uh, at the time, uh, this was one of the biggest uh, 1 6 scale boxes around. And uh, you can see um, it's pretty high, but um, somewhat skinny because it's a uh, museum pose. So I love these color boxes because, you know, they tell you who the sculpt is. Of course, uh, Randy Bowen, he does really good Hulks and um, Thors. And this is the Planet Hulk um, version. And then as we look up on top, that's what we have. And then uh, it will show you like um, how tall it is and stuff like that. Okay, so let's uh, do the reverse um, assembling of the uh, statue. Okay guys, so um, the statue comes with, um, obviously, yeah, let me show you. Uh, you connect the, this mace. And it's got a peg and friction, that's it, uh, there's no uh, magnets. So I guess uh, with the smaller scale statues, um, there, was, there isn't a need for magnets. And then if you can see these tentacles, when you get them, they're actually removable. So you just plug them in. Uh, there isn't any instructions or anything. It's just plug in and then uh, remove te removable tentacles. And I think, okay, this one also. Okay. And then removing a side. These, oh, this one's removable. But this one's fixed. Okay. Okay, so you, as you can see, um, and then this guy, uh, removal, it's a one pegger, it's a square peg. Okay. So it's, it's got a good weight, um, but if you uh, knock it, it's actually hollow inside, okay. But uh, the overall statue is pretty heavy uh, for a one six scale, okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert the peg back in. So you don't want to move these things around too much because the resin tends to break up. Okay, so you've got a couple parts. Um, you have the mace, you got the shield. That's what the back looks like. And then um, you have an extra axe that doesn't really connect to anything. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to install the maze hand back in. Okay, and then uh, with this you have one of two display options. You can put it here, uh, which just fits down there nicely. Or um, what you can do is in the back of the Hulk, there's a magnet back there. So all you have to do is, uh, where is it? Oh, there we go. So this is the mag this is where the magnet is, and then uh, you just uh, I guess there's a magnet in here. Not the most elegant um, solution, because you just it's like he's got <laughs> magnet uh, just sticking, and he does have magnets. So, um, but uh, you know what I mean. It would be better if they have like a pouch or something. Okay, it gives it a little bit more realism. But uh, keep in mind this is a one six scale. So, um, you know, there's a lot of missing details, uh, and as you can see, okay, so it's not going to take anything away, it's just that when you swing around, you know, uh, you're going to have to suspend your disbelief and pretend that's strapped on somehow. Okay, and then the other thing, uh, I guess uh, it's bad, but, no, not, I wouldn't say bad, but less detailed is, you know, the shield is nice, but um, it's going to attach to his left hand. And there's no strap or anything, okay? Or it doesn't even come with a hand. It's actually a magnet here, 
and a magnet there. So what you're going to do is um, the felt uh, pad is going to cushion this so it won't scratch. So you're just going to flick it on there and that's what it is. Okay. So that's uh, Planet Hulk um, with his full gear on. So let me do a 360 for you guys. And uh, displaying it with the shield up, um, depending on the angle like that, uh, well now you can't see the Hulk. Okay. So um, you want to display it like this or something. Or you can just take the shield off and that's my um, display preference. So as you can see it's really nice. And I love the um, Planet Hulk story. Not the original, not the most original, but uh, it's really nice. Okay, so you can do that, or um, you can just take this off. You can put it back here, for example. Okay, so that's what that's how I would want to display. Uh, you get the shield, and then uh, you get everything else. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful with this. That's full resin, so uh, it's gonna break on you if uh, you drop it. Okay, so uh, let's get a closer look and then uh, we'll go to the scorecard. Alright, let's go for the uh, close up. I've taken out the shield and the uh, axe um, just to give you guys a better uh, look at the details. And this is pretty detailed for a 1 6 scale, okay? So that's what you've got, um, and in the back, this thing is sculpted nicely, as you can see with the uh, detailed um, arm wrap, and even his uh, boots or sandals, uh, it's really nicely detailed, okay, and in the base, um, you've got um, some uh, tentacles and an alien skull, okay, and then he's got on some rock base and then his gladiator outfit. And of course, you got nice um, um, arm, uh, I guess, some form of armor on his arm, and then that. And then close up to uh, the face. And of course, you know, this being the one six scale, um, you're not going to get much, you know, details like a quarter scale. But uh, I think Randy Bowen did a really good job with this. Okay. So there isn't uh, any mixed media on this, it's just uh, sculpting and then you can see the maze. Okay, so what we can do is, um, you know, we can display the um, axe here. Uh, it actually fits in there nicely. Okay. So it's got uh, some form of, uh, you know, purple shading. It's really a compact base and I like it. Um, and this thing is, um, you know, you can play, display this on your uh, desk, and it's a nice conversational piece. Okay. I really like it. Um, the color just looks nice. And then, of course, with the shield, uh, you can just connect it there. So you can display it like this, um, but not at this angle, okay? So it would uh, take away some of the detail. And then as you can see with the hand, it's just uh, sticking there. So it's okay because you're not going to ever display it like that. Okay, so let's go to the uh, scorecard. Uh, our first category is sculpting. I like this sculpt. Uh, it's really nice. It's, um, you know, he's looking ready to strike. Um, it's a museum pose, and then, uh, and I think a lot of people like the museum pose because it doesn't take up a lot of space, and this thing doesn't. Uh, it's got some width. You're looking at maybe 12 inches, and then um, you've got uh, some vertical. I think this thing's 17-ish, 17 and a half inches high. And then uh, you can see, this is sculpted feather. I think originally Randy was thinking about doing actual feather. Uh, I like it like this, okay. So it looks pretty nice. Nicely detailed helmet. Um, just about the only thing that I don't like is um, this. Um, it should have came with a 
or hand that attaches to this, but I guess that's asking too much. Okay, so um, with this scoped, um, it actually is one basic scope, this thing, and uh, um, Bowen designs the four different hooks, okay? You got this, the planet hook, and then the, um, the scope also accommodated the gray hook, the red hook, and uh, I think the regular green hook. So you have four different ones, and of course, that's the base scope, okay? So the gray would be, you know, gray uh, with the shirt, rip shirt, and then the red hook would be, um, you know, the head would be different, and of course it's red, and, you know, it's slight variation. Um, but they, he did a really good job with this, okay? Um, so uh, with this uh, being pretty detailed, I would have to give this, um, keep in mind this is a 1 6 scale and not a quarter scale where you get a lot of details. Uh, this would be a 9 out of 10 for me. Um, the reason it, can, it isn't a perfect scope uh, is because uh, it's lacking some details, like the face, as you can see. And then, um, since he has a helmet on, okay, uh, as you can see the head, um, with a helmet on, the helmet should have been bigger. Okay, so, because it looks like his head is the helmet, uh, based on this. So, they should have done a um, bigger helmet, as you can see. It looks like it's just part of his head. Instead of being an actual helmet that, you know, you wear, I guess. And then, so uh, this helmet needed to be bigger. So that's my only complaint. And then, um, I think the rest is pretty good. It's as detailed as you can get. As you can see the feet um, in the, um, the knee-high sandals. Okay, so it's really nice for being a 6 scale. one six scale. Okay, so helmet is my only complaint. Um, and of course this, uh, as you can see, um, it should have came with a strap or something. Uh, ideally, you would have an extra hand or something and attach it like, you know, this guy, okay. So 9 and 10, pretty good, almost there, but not quite there. Alright, so the next category we have is uh, fit and finish. So that includes like paint and if there's any mixed media, um, uh, how the cloth or whatever media it's used, uh, if it uh, fits well. And this one, this it's only resin, there's no mixed media at all. Um, and being it's a worn look, um, say any paint flaw, uh, like you know, these things, uh, it's not painted right, it's okay because that's part of the feature. <laughs> uh, because um, he's a gladiator Hulk, so uh, you're not gonna have shiny armor, so that's done well. And then he's on a rock base, uh, so any mist apply paint, it's just part of the rock, okay? So it's got working there, um, you got some nice um, details in the skull. And it looks like he's just crushed some uh, tentacled bees. So you've got that. It's really nice. Uh, so from the paint-wise perspective, I don't have any issue with this. I would have to give it a 10 out of 10. If there was any, like uh, here, you couldn't tell because it's a mace that's been uh, used. Okay, so it's pretty cleverly done. Okay, so um, the next category is... Um, Source material, uh, if you've read the Planet Hulk storyline, you know this is Planet Hulk, okay? Uh, there's no disputing it. Um, now, there may be a slight variation here and there, you know, maybe the disc. Um, I think it might have been bigger, I'm not sure, but that's minor detail, or the strap might not, you know, match exactly. But, you know, for the most part, this is uh, the Hulk, okay, in that uh, Planet Hulk story. So, um, I would have to give this a 10 out of 10 for source material. Okay, so... Alright, so our next category is Art Direction. Um, this is um, the Hulk getting ready to strike. Okay, he's ready, um, I guess, to rumble. <coughs> so, I do like this Art Direction. And um, keep in mind, this is old school, 1-6 um, scale. So back then, unless you're doing a diorama, uh, there wasn't a lot of action pose except, you know, something like the Thor um, hammer, spinning hammer one. So I do like this uh, art direction. He's just getting ready to uh, go at it, okay? So um, art direction-wise, I like it. And when you combine, you know, all of these things like, um, I guess, some tentacle beasts that he's defeated, 
and then you know scroll it's very uh, apt for this pose okay and the uh, character okay so art direction wise I like it um, and I would have to give this a um, gosh probably given the scale um, a 10 out of 10 because I you know it's it's just nice yeah reminds me of Spartacus the TV series so and this being Planet Hulk uh, he's a gladiator and if you read the story uh, it's really nice yeah one, one of my all-time favorites um, so uh, yeah 10 out of 10 okay so our last category we have is uh, accessories uh, this includes how many switch outs and uh, of course um, the base itself um, if you have elaborate rays it brings up the score so uh, for this um, the switch out you only get um, not really a switch out but you know this removable hand uh, the shield that you can display yeah, that's what it looks like in the back um, you can display it like this for example you can move the shield around and then I prefer it not to have it on here because you know you lose a lot of detail um, accessory wise I would have to give this like a 8 out of 10 um, it's lacking in a switch out um, you know maybe they could have done you know switch out head uh, with uh, no helmet or something but keep in mind this is 1 6 scale uh, back in the days um, you just uh, don't have a lot of switch outs and it would be nice if um, um, instead of giving us you know just this uh, they could have done like another hand that does this okay let's switch out with an axe hand that would be nice and then um, or they can you can do a dual wheel like uh, give the Hulk uh, a switch out hand that does this okay that would have been nice you know something like this so but like I said it's one six scale they didn't do switch outs back then you know, not that many and then you do have the shield okay so uh, 8 out of 10 it's very good and the base it tells the story so anytime you get something like that it bumps the scores up and it looks like uh, he's just crushed uh, some tentacle beast okay it's really nicely done okay so overall score and uh, not an average I really like this piece I think it's the best piece of the um, the four that was um, used um, with this base scope and um, I would have to give this a I would have liked to see more you know one or two switch out arms and uh, this the back piece right here should have had an arm or a hand um, that would you know attach to this but now you know you I guess you we've been asking too much but that would be nicer uh, or even switch out the whole arm okay I mean I can't imagine if um, or not if when uh, XM Studios come out with this uh, their own Planet Hulk or Gladiator Hulk or whatever they want to call it it is going to be a beast with lots of switch out so and I will get that um, just to put a video uh, for you guys but anyway so overall um, piece given that um, the scale and how old this piece is I would have to give this a nine and a half out of ten I would have loved to see more switch out but that's not what they were doing back then okay so that's understandable okay so that's it um, <clears throat> thanks for watching and you know um, it's kind of too late to pick this guy up for a um, reasonable price or anything like that but it's still reasonable you can get this for like two three hundred bucks four maybe on the bay and I would highly recommend it um, and after seeing the Thor Ragnarok um, I guess uh, trailer the Hulk <laughs> looks really badass in that um, movie so um, uh, if you haven't read the store, um, the comic book, go uh, pick up um, the um, trade paperback. Don't watch the cartoon because that's a travesty. Uh, they try to cram everything into what, like 80 minutes worth of movies, and it's nothing. Um, you should really wa uh, read the comic book, okay? And hopefully, the Thor movie will be uh, give you more back details. But they really need to do a, a Planet Hulk story. It's a shame that. Uh, <clears throat> it's probably never going to be done okay but anyway uh so thanks for watching and then i highly recommend picking this up 
It's really nice. Now, SciShow has a um, quarter scale, two of them, actually, King Hulk and Gladiator Hulk. Uh, now, given that um, the quarter scale, uh, they'll obviously have more details, but this one is a better piece, okay? Uh, the overall piece is much, much better than theirs. Um, if this was a quarter scale, then this would be the one to be. And like I said, uh, XM is coming out with their own. Um, so, uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so again, um, thanks for watching, and then we'll see you next time um, for another um, classic uh, Bowens.